All right, people, I recently bought a Dragon Gobi for my 200 litre oddball community tank. And yeah, he's been doing fine for the past few weeks. So let's talk about it. Now, first things first, I have to say, Dragon Gobies are one of the most unique looking fish in the hobby, man. They remind me of the dragonfish, you know, that deep sea fish that has that really big mouth with sharp teeth. I don't know why, but every time I look at them, it just reminds me of that, man. That's why it's one of my favorites. Now, I'll keep it real, people. I've had one before, but it didn't really work out. I'm not really sure why but i do have a better filter now i've got a better light and i'm just much more experienced so i thought i'd give it another go and so far it's been working out great but yeah i made a little list of a few talking points so let's go through them now now the first thing is are they fresh water and guys i'm gonna keep it real with you i actually don't know because there are so many different sources online and in real life telling me different things for example if you look online some people will say they are purely brackish species however then there are other sources who say that they are adaptable species meaning they can live in brackish water or salt water or fresh water which um seemed kind of weird but there was quite a few sources saying that now there's other sources that say they don't really do well in salt water at all but they're okay in brackish and fresh water so in the end I kind of just decided I'm gonna have to experiment and see if it works out. The first time it didn't, but like I said, I'm much more experienced now and it's working out great so far. Having said that, I've only had it for about a month now, so it could potentially change. So if you do want to get one for your fresh water tank, then do it at your own risk or at least wait till I'm doing like a three or four month update. By the way, people, if you're still watching, please remember to like and subscribe. It really helps me out, man. I'm just trying to grow this channel. Now let's talk about this size and in the wild, they can grow up to 24 inches. However, in captivity, you will usually see the max out at 15 inches. So it's not going to get as big as in the wild, but 15 inches is still kind of big. So you can't put them in a small tank. Now, another thing to note is if you do everything right, they are going to live up to 10 years. So just know if you are buying one and you don't have a backup plan, like, you know, being able to take it back to the shop or whatever. Well, in that case, just know it's a commitment. Now, when it comes to the feeding, that is kind of interesting. I can't lie. Now, when I first got it, I was under the impression it would only eat protein based food so things like earthworms bloodworms and all of that but yo my dragon goby i named him draco by the way um he eats everything honestly like the flake food that i feed which is the tetra pro multicolor crisp and the prima granules like it eats it up fine and of course when i put in the blood worms he enjoys that when i'm feeding my moray eel and i'm feeding her the earthworms he comes up as well wants a few pieces so yeah in my experience they are fairly easy to feed and near enough eat everything now the behavior is quite interesting as well because i was under the impression that they are nocturnal species so it's going to stay inside of its cave most of the day however well, pretty much from the first day it's been swimming about everywhere i've got so much footage people of it just swimming about everywhere what? oh okay my snake tank just switched off by the way oh that reminds me as well yes people i am going to do videos about coco soon my python shout out to that one guy one of my loyal subscribers and that he recently asked about it as well yes people don't worry videos about coco are coming soon i'm just trying to do a few more of the fish videos trying to you know build a little community here before i start branching out into different animals but yeah anyway what were we talking about uh behavior right yes so the behavior is out all the time even during the day he is out right now i can see him he's just staring at me but um yeah the behavior is really really cool now one thing i did notice is he does have some kind of bite mark at the end of his tail it looks like he got bitten it could potentially be lily my more eel i'm not really sure however like apart from the first day they haven't really been next to each other like on the very first day draco my dragon goby it went right next to her cave and even went inside a few times but maybe that's when he got bitten and now he's literally on the other side of the tank and made himself a little spot there but yeah i guess we're gonna have to wait till the update to see what happens there people now guys do remember i have a very unique oddball community tank and one of the dangers of having a tank like that is sometimes the fish might fight especially when you have multiple predator fish um yeah it sounds kind of weird and horrible but at the end of the day if you want a oddball community tank you are gonna have to do a few experiments and don't worry guys if it does turn out that they are going to be constantly fighting i will take one of them out which will most probably be the dragon goby because i can't get rid of my more rate or she's probably one of my favorite fish in there but yeah when it comes to tank baits in general everyone else is pretty much fine with it was literally just that bite mark and once again i'm not even sure if my more rate or done that it could have to be fair there's even a chance that i bought it like that I, i'm gonna have to check the footage but but yeah all in all people dragon gobies are amazing they look really cool and unique and it looks like you can keep them in a freshwater community tank do remember every animal is different so do it at your own risk 
but hey, it's working out in my tank. I will do an update soon, so remember to like and subscribe and all of that. And if you want to see a tour of the fish shop where I bought my dragon goby from, then click right here.